installing the iMac VESA View Kit from Tether Tools. This is all the directions that came with it, parts list. And so what I have done is the bracket here, you want it mounted like this. Now my computer is sitting on my chair. Uh, you want it to where this section is down here and then you see these little claws here on the side. They grip the side of this uh, stand. I have the late 2014 iMac 27 inch, which means I can't take this off. Or if I can, um, I personally could not figure out how to do it. I jammed every business card and piece of plastic I could possibly imagine into here, used every magic trick known to man, and still could not remove it. So I figured, well, to heck with it. We'll just leave this on and have an extra shelf. So what you want to make sure is, like they say in the directions, they give you two different sizes of these rings here. See? That's what it looks like. They, uh, they go in the back of the stand here, and then it gets sandwiched in between these two pieces of metal here. And of course, you can tell it's inside there, so you can't really see it once it's in there. But you want to pick the right size, because they apparently made, Apple made two different sizes. Tightening these screws down. The counterbalance full motion LCD wall mount. And this is the arm that I'll be mounting on the wall to then hook onto the computer in here. On the desk lies the arm. Sexy. And uh, we've got to figure out how to mount it to the Tether Tools iMac VESA view. So, reading directions and figuring out where on the wall I can mount this. So for what I am going to need for my purposes, you're gonna to wanna to measure course how high you want this monitor mounted and for me it was from the top of the bracket up there to 20 inches that's going to give me some space underneath for uh, storing things so I figured 20 inches okay for that and then for the arm here where this is going to sit and how it's going to be mounted I am nine inches down uh, from the top of this bracket here to the first, uh, or for the from the top of that bracket to the top of this bracket. So from there to there, nine inches. And so therefore uh, I measured on the wall. Okay, you can see. Right above that, I got a 20 inch mark. So that would be the top of my bracket, meaning that this needs to get mounted down here. And because I have my conduit with all my cables coming down, I had uh, out in the barn, a couple of chunks of some old barn wood looking material. And I was just gonna pick one of these. We'll have a heavy solid wood too. Let's see here, excuse me, maybe this guy. Okay, so we know that's where I want that to sit. That's where that's going to sit. Basically, it's right there where that screw hole is. So that's the top of that. It'll sit there like that. And then I can mount that to that. All right. Now that we got our board mounted, I have marked the hole, or marked the top hole with a pencil line right there. And this is where that will sit when it's all said and done. So I like to pre-drill the top hole first. So let's do that now. Right. And after you get the last screw,
rack, it can sit back a little bit better. Cool. See how this is gonna work. Having a hard time mounting this onto here, at least using the four inside Please holes. Like, subscribe. So what I'm going to do is just take this whole bracket off, mount the black bracket onto that, then mount it back on here. So, so this is the VESA deal. So this is, pretend that's on the back of the computer, right? So there's the arm. You would then, better shot here. See this comes in sits on top of that like that and then this swing locks in swings in and then you put your other two screws those guys right there after this is mounted of course onto the computer so we're gonna now mount this back on the computer using the proper ring because they have two different sizes. Make sure you get the right one. I think this one fits mine the best. So I will stick this in here like that. Grab the other bracket. Hooked onto the VESA and you have hand tighten a couple of these down, you're going to want to come down to the bottom part and install the others. Four of these guys. Snug them up. Theory, this should. Pretty good. Let's see here. There it is. It is mounted on the board. There's the back. See the funky brackets, and then I would probably do the uh, Velcro deal and Velcro the CD DVD deal on that so that I can utilize that shelf there. But uh, yeah, it works and it works pretty good. You uh, can adjust it how you want. You see the arms fully come out. There it is, like straight up there. Well, almost there. Pretty heavy duty and it's neat because they've got uh, cable runs in here. You can run out your cables. I've got to get some extensions now for my cables to run them up there. Some of them will fit. I might have to revamp some of that. But you can see, stepping back here, how far that it sticks out from the desk now. And uh, you could even have it high enough to where you can just sit there and stare at it. Now I've got it uh, angled down because I'll be staring down at it, but you can adjust it well here on the other side. Let me show you. And they give you all the Allen keys. You loosen those three up there. You can pivot the tilt this it way. It doesn't do a full 360, but uh, you can tilt it. You can see here a little bit to adjust it, get it right. All right, well, get this back into place. Clean my mess up. And there it is. Okay, well, hope you dug this. Please like, subscribe, and bell it left me with a nice mess to clean up. So I've got sawdust and put my desk back in order.
Hey, thanks for checking out our video today at Shop Field Music. If you like this video, please like, subscribe, and bell it, yo. And don't forget to check out more videos from us. Right over there. There.